Okay, in the last video I showed you how to um, build a table. Um, we're going to carry on from that in this video um, and uh, add a, another field in to the table. Um, what we're actually missing is a way to uniquely identify a record. Um, you could have a company name as an identifier but you might have more than one company with the same name so it's not going to be unique so the way to do it is to create an identifier field um, in this case we'll call it customer ID okay and we want to assign a data type to it and because it's going to be a unique ID we want to select auto number now auto number will always add when access adds a new record into the table this auto number will be incremented by one each time so now we have the auto number we need to just move it to the top of the table. You can leave it here if you want but it's best practice just to put it at the top. So to do that highlight the row with your mouse, hold down your mouse button and just move it to the top. And When you get to the top let go of the mouse customer ID is at the top okay now even though this is an auto number we still need to uniquely identify the row and the best way to do that is to set what's known as a primary key we'll come on to primary keys later on but for now keep the row highlighted and go up to the top here where there's a primary key symbol and click it you could also right click the row and select primary key Now if you look down here, now that you've set the primary key, it's set an index and it's also said no duplicates are allowed. So every time we enter a new record in here, it's always going to be unique. This ID is always going to be unique. So there's our table. We can now enter some data into it, but we'd have to save it first, so I'm going to save that and I'm going to call it TBL customers. Now TBL is a standard for naming tables so you have FRM for form, QRY for queries so for tables prefix the table name with TBL so my name now is TBL customers and click OK and access should have now saved our table and here it is in the database window TBL customers